All right, guys, let's see how these uh, Japanese maples are doing. We planted the seeds and got them in this toad here. So it's been a, maybe a week and a half since we planted them. And look at what we got. A whole bunch of them are taken off. Little seedlings. And now you can see some of them are a little more green and some of them are a little more reddish color. And I found that when I planted these seeds, you get quite a bit of genetic variation. And so as the plants grow, uh, you you get some with just deeper red that hold their color longer through the fall and and summer and some of them that just tend to be a little bit more green they all tend to be more red but um, some of them just have more green in them as well and you can see them in all different stages some of them still have the little uh, leaves attached to or the little seed pods attached to them still some of them are still just sprouting and I think we're going to continue to get more sprouting as we go and as the weather warms up a few of them in there just uh, continue to sprout and we are on our way so it's been a little bit of time now uh, maybe another week or so since I took that last little clip and I think pretty close to um, all of the seeds that are going to pop up have popped up here now as the spring goes on last time i did this i had a few popping up here and there uh, later into the spring and into the summer so we might get a few more but this is probably the majority of what's going to take uh, you can still see a little bit kind of moving in here uh, there's a little green speck down in there amongst the fir bark and uh, there's a few spots like that where you can see a few popping up but quite a few little japanese maple seeds here that sprouted i'm pretty happy with that here's another little shot of our japanese maples and they're starting to develop nicely they've all got or most of them have true leaves on there now and you can see how red they are they're really starting to come along nice All right, we're another week or two later here and these guys are developing really nice. So we've got all these seedlings. I think, I, every time I tell you, I think they're about done popping up. I see another little one popping up. Uh, so, you know, you can see there's a few that just popped up here recently. Right in there, right in there. But for the most part, they're they're getting close to the end. I, You know, if I left this box here like this, I might even get some to pop up next year and I've seen that happen, but I'm not really too concerned with that. Right now I've got a whole bunch of red leaf Japanese maples and what my goal will be with these guys now is to just grow them on in here probably through the fall and or so we're in spring now probably through the summer and then fall and winter and then next spring when they've hardened off in here i'll pull them all out they'll have good strong roots nice little stems and i'll pot them up into individual five, uh, one gallon pots for now and fertilize them and then we'll start the process of narrowing down to see which ones look the best because if you remember when you plant these seeds you're not going to get clones of you know a blood good japanese maple you're going to get a lot of genetic variation and you know when i've done this before they all turn out red leaf but some of them hold their red longer some of them are deeper red uh some of them start off redder in the in the springtime so we're going to keep an eye on that as they grow and we'll just kind of weed out the ones that aren't so desirable and we'll keep the ones that are really just beautiful deep red and hold that red through the or start early and then hold it through the fall until the leaves drop so we've got a lot of them to work with here so we should get quite a bit of success out of this all right so i think this is going to be the last little clip for this section and then we'll uh do an update in another i don't know maybe six months or a year or something show you how these guys are doing and how we grow them on so you can see the little uh seedlings have really started to take off now they've got really nice size leaves there starting to come on they're real true red leaf japanese maples and like i said you can see a little variation in color in some of them uh, but you know we'll just kind of watch that as we go and see which ones are redder maintain that redness throughout the year for a longer period of time and we'll weed out the real nice ones from the not as nice ones since these were all free seeds anyway it doesn't really matter and then we'll have some nice uh, Japanese maples to plant out on the property. So follow along here. Obviously these things take time. So 
I'll watch them through the summer, probably get some more shots, and we'll have another video of how they're doing probably in the end of the summer. I'll show you as I uh, go along. I'll leave them in this tote, like I said before, uh, through the winter because I want the roots to just get real hardened off and and strong through the winter before I start disturbing but then disturbing them but then next spring I will pot them up into one gallon pots and let them grow on so all right thanks for watching guys I hope you uh, have have the same success with germinating your Japanese maple seeds as we did here and I know if you follow the plan you will because you can see how easy it really is all right, till next time, adios, have an awesome day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.